The family of a bicyclist who was killed by a hit and run driver wants to know who would do such a thing, and they're hoping you can help. Here's News 13's Kayla Ayers. Dean Michael Wolf's siblings flocked to Albuquerque to be with their brother before he died in the hospital last weekend. Now they want to know who hit him and left him on the side of the road to die. A small memorial has popped up along Old Route 66 near to Harris, marking the spot where a passerby found 56 year old Michael Wolf. Deputies say the Edgewood man was riding his bicycle the evening of June 6th when he was hit by a large older model Ford truck. The driver kept going. Wolf was rushed to UNM Hospital. I think Michael fought right up until the very last day. And I think at that point he decided enough is enough. Wolf underwent numerous surgeries and amputations before he died. In life, his sisters say Wolf was independent, even with partial cerebral palsy. He was also fiercely private and devoted himself to helping others. Now his family is asking the public for help in figuring out who left their brother to die. If it's an accident, it's an accident, and we would have understood that. But to drive off and leave him for dead, we, that was our anger. A few tips have trickled in, but deputies say they haven't panned out. How would they not know that they didn't run over someone? The women say they believe their brother would have forgiven the driver. I think he would. If it was strictly an accident, I think he would. Investigators believe Wolf was hit by a larger model truck similar to a propane delivery or septic truck. Dean, back to you. Kayla, thank you. The Sheriff's Department says the driver of that truck could face vehicular homicide charges. Wolf's memorial service will be held in three weeks in Albuquerque.